Hi, now let's look at our assignment. Now what I'm going to begin here with, this is assignment A. Now this is not to be done with assignment B or doing both. You either choose A or B. So I'm going to walk you through assignment A. Now this one, this assignment is more of a, an engagement assignment. And we're going to set a goal. And that's what this one is about. It's a goal setting and data collection. Now your assignment's worth 25% of your course and it's not due until April 20th so that's really that's week 13 and you're gonna post it as a PDF if you're not sure how to make a PDF review the video that I posted in week one on how to make a PDF document now this gets posted in a journal that will be living in week 13 and the reason why it's in week 13 is because you're gonna do about eight weeks of collecting of data of a goal you've set now the way to get started on this assignment in your textbook on page 23 to 26 there's a self-assessment that involves a wellness wheel now I'm gonna scroll down here quickly there's the wellness wheel that's in your textbook you can print this off to do the work on it so let's come back up here so read over what is expected in the self-assessment complete that and add the wheel not the whole submission but add the wheel to your um, assignment now the scores will remain confidential when you put something in a journal it's private between you and I and I won't share it, share it with anybody now based on the assessment I want you to make a decision about well what can you do what goal do you want to have you know where are you feeling you need some improvement if you will and it needs to be measurable so for example if you're saying well I want to get healthier well, what do you measure health by? Maybe it's heart rate, maybe it's blood pressure, maybe it's uh, pounds. It's whatever you set your goal to be needs to be measurable, okay? And it, uh, health related to uh, behavior that you'd like to change. And I've given you some examples there. Now, one of the things I'd like you to make sure you pay close attention to, and it's in second week um, uh, content video on chapter four is be sure that you don't do things too quickly jump too fast into doing too much aggressive work make sure you do set up a system or goal that is reasonable achievable and doesn't press you so hard okay now it's due on the last week the, um, you need to create a goal using smart and that's in your textbook you need to gather eight weeks worth of record keeping so in order to gather eight weeks and hand it in by the 13th you're going to need to start by week four so if you're choosing a you need to get right on it and get started and then basically what you're doing is whatever you set out to do let's say you've set out to do four days of running a week you're going to use a treadmill and you're going to start running um, on a whatever schedule you want then you start running in week four and you gather data now uh, if you need to write it in paper you do so but if you have some other means by which to do it an app uh, Fitbit you know whatever you use use that as your data collection now here's what needs to be handed in you need to have all five sections completed there's marks for that you need to have your assessment and some feedback about your reaction to your assessment included. Now, when you look at the rubrics, use the number of marks as a gauge as to how much work I want you to do in that. And then what is the health behavior to change? Make sure it's measurable in terms of something that you're gonna do that you can keep measured and explain, give me some feedback as to why have you chosen this behavior? What's, gonna, what's the impact going to be for you and how is it going to benefit not just you perhaps but other people and how will this going forward be something that you can continue to pursue the third part is break down your goal using smart now you'll find this on page 18 in your textbook but it's specific is it measurable achievable realistic and trackable make sure you discuss these points and explain how your goal fits into this model then it's record keeping. Attach a copy of your record keeping system, whether it's a chart or a device recording. I use a Garmin for my writing, running, for example. Uh, whether you have a Fitbit and you want to, you can you know, go online and print off some of your recording. If you have a smart device, use an app for collecting data, depending upon what your goal is. And so print off that stuff so that you can have an example of it and have, have as much of that eight-week recording as a part of your um, submission. 
So make sure it's complete and make sure it's detailed. You know, even if you want to write, like I, when I do my Garmin um, recording, I put it up online. It's, it's private for me only. It's not made public. So I can go in and write whatever comments I want to about the quality of the run and how I felt or what the conditions were that made it either good or easy or hard. And so record keeping is complete and detailed. And then the last part is a summary. Give me a brief statement of what you've learned about yourself, the strength, the needs and changes in your strategy, what is your, what's your next steps gonna be, whatever else you wanna say, but make sure you give me a complete summary. So if we go down to the rubrics, you're getting marks for having all sections in the headings included. And be thoughtful, be interesting, be committed, be you know um, uh, interested in your own growth and development and make sure that your rec record keeping and log system is, is, is included. So there's five marks on your reaction or your, your assessment. There's 15 marks on health behavior code. Why are you pursuing? So don't be brief, be comprehensive. Think about why you think this is an important proceed, you know, goal for you. Where, you know, what, how good is it for you right now? And what good would it be for you in the future? How is this going to benefit you as a student, as an employee, maybe as a parent, or as a son or a daughter? The goal, be comprehensive about it. Use SMART and make sure your goal reflects and tell, you show me how it reflects each part of SMART. Again, there's 15 marks there. The record keeping system, there's 10 marks. Now what I'm looking for here is whatever measure that you're using, make sure it's measurable. Now you can have an anecdotal part of your data collection, but there needs to be a measurable one. You know, like I was saying with my Garmin, I have a measurable one. My Garmin records the route that I took, tells me my pace, how far I went, the details, the stuff that I can count, but it gives me a place to record my thoughts. So please, Make sure your record keeping is complete and detailed. The summary is worth five marks. There's marks given for grammar, spelling, punctuation, basic sort of penmanship, if you will. Be thoughtful, be correct. And then the total marks are 55 marks. Now, I think this can be a really fun activity. I think this can be a really worthwhile um, assignment. So if you've chosen to do this one, make sure you go to week three and sign up in for, sci for assignment A so I know that this is what you're doing. Uh, if you choose not to make any selection at all, I will set you up in assignment B and give you, and I will assign you to a particular topic. So I would take advantage of exercising your own choice to make, to make a choice between assignment A or assignment B. Um, I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to those of you doing assignment A. I'm looking forward to seeing how well you've done. Good luck, everyone.